Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's Monday for me and it's time for a new reaction. Today I'm trying out something different. If you're here to see my reaction for the song Overcome from Scott, check out the timestamp because there you can skip forward because right now I'm going to talk about my daily life as always. Okay, so as I already said, it is Monday. It was luckily not as warm as the weekend. Actually, when I was going to work this morning, I was like, maybe I should have brought a jacket because it really looked like it's going to rain the whole day. And yes, it was raining at least most of the time I was working, but not strong rain, really just like slight rain. And also when I was going home, no rain. So yeah, everything worked out. But it was great to cool down. I could cool down my apartment again. Great, great, great. But now let's talk about the not so nice things. First at work, well, it was one of these days where I really felt like I could not really finish anything. I started something, then a different task appeared that I started working on and then something else appeared. So I basically like always had to switch my focus and I couldn't really finish anything because I knew I need to take my focus on one of these things because they were, there was nothing high priority. I didn't really had the chance to say like, okay, what is more important now? In the end, I lost some time today there, but I will refocus now at home and I know exactly what I'm going to do tomorrow so that I can, yeah, basically deal with all these problems. That was work. However, something else that is not that nice is my health situation. Well, I already told you in yesterday's video that I'm using this cortisone pill now in the mornings instead of the evenings. And how do I say it? Like right now, it's actually not that bad. I don't feel too much pain. However, when I woke up in the morning, I felt again really bad. And I was basically just like trying to roll so that I can reach my medicine in the morning so that I can throw a pill in my mouth somehow, like for real grab the water bottle with both hands because I'm not capable of holding the water bottle with one hand, putting the water in my mouth and just hoping that it works, that I can yeah, get the pill down, that it will yeah, somehow affect me in a positive way. And because, you know, like drinking when you're laying basically ends sometimes like this, that so much water is coming that it just runs over my whole face. So I made my bed wet, but it was just water. So it was not not bad but it was still annoying and then like the whole morning routine first of all standing up making breakfast going to work and also at least the first three four hours at work took some time it really took time unfortunately however in the end luckily it was not that bad so like right now i feel okay-ish however of course it would be better if the mornings would not be so annoying and not so stiff but that is all that i can tell you for now i have a meeting with my friends online coming up in round about like yeah two hours so we will hopefully finally fix the iceland thing today maybe also yeah make other dates ready for the summertime maybe we can meet up we will see how that goes but that is all for my daily life part so now let's go into the reaction for today from scott Okay guys, in today's reaction I will be listening to Overcome from Scott. This is something really, really different. I catched on to this song while I was on Instagram. It was the background music on a nature-based song and I felt in love with it because this is one of a song where you really don't have too much words. You cannot really describe like, oh, this is awesome and then you have this, it's... It's more like this, you feel it, you enjoy it. Maybe this is not the best to react on there because you really just will see me feeling this song. But I want to try it and maybe you will just think like, okay, I like this. Maybe I check out her other songs because I also have not checked out any other songs. But there are so many on Spotify. So maybe, yeah, I will check out another one either with a reaction or not depends but now let's enjoy this song and if you don't really yeah hear me talk during this video then just see it as something different let's go i 
I really like this melody. I really like the voice. Wow, man. <laughs> yeah, goosebumps. Of course, we're coming the first time this chorus, if you want to say it like this, kicks in. And this song is so good because you have the verses, the two verses, but you have this chorus. And in the first chorus, nothing is said, but you hear the humming. And... I really, really enjoy music like this. And there are like there are two different things in my head when I listen to this piece of art. The first is really showing the change of something over a certain period of time. So what do I mean with that? Basically, for example, having like a time lapse that is not just a day, but more like a whole year. You have like start you start like in winter and then you see like spring, you see the flowers and the grass growing, and you have the sunlight coming up and the animals, something like this on the one side. And on the other side, it really feels like the song is called Overcome. And what I understand by that is basically like overcome maybe certain past memories that are painful something in your past that you want to left behind, no matter what you see, something totally different, or maybe you just see nothing, which is all fine. I like that song. Like, of course, it's not like the song that I play when I go, like when I walk home to hype myself up. But this is a song that puts me in a certain mood if I want to be in this mood. For example, like, searching in my past in my memories maybe when i have the time to think about things that i have not fully accepted and this was yeah an experiment so tell me what you think about this song what you think about songs like this in general because i actually have two more songs that are very similar to that One of that um, is a famous one from Norway. It's called Josephine, but I forgot the name of the artist. And another one is actually a song 
that I was also singing in a choir called A Boy and a Girl from Eric Whittaker, which is not that similar to this, but still it has a long humming part that I like. And yeah, so I don't know how much community interaction I'm going to have in this video, but maybe I will yeah, try out these other two songs in the future. But for now, yeah, feel free to include any opinion down in the comments. We're going to see each other back tomorrow with another video. Have a good one. Bye bye.